by one goal to nil. Of course, these teams will meet again on Sunday in a second friendly international. That will take place at the Larry Gorman Stadium. Of course, that match will be open to fans. This match, of course, uh, was a closed door encounter, so to speak, with preparations happening here at the Hazley Crawford Stadium for the Carifta Games Trials, which takes place tomorrow. All right, enough of that. Let's look back at the 90 minutes and see some of the moments that made it all so special. Started with the pleasantries. And then the new faces, new blood being added for both these teams. Several players making debut, including that man to your right, Chevroness Hamilton. Cam Thomas was the first to get the ball rolling, so to speak. And uh, goalkeeper. Foster doing enough to lift it over the top. Later on. It was the man making his debut, Justin Abikwu. Just missing the mark, the top corner. And then Kyle Thomas and Rondell Gibson threatened from set pieces. Remain goal, that's at half time. Second half, we'll see the Soko Warriors run flat. But guess who didn't? Reggae Boys and Dixon. Finding a way past Adrian Fonset in goal, the 19 year old former Clarendon man getting a goal for the Jamaica senior team. Much mentioned of Dixon as a future talent. Showing he's got all these skill sets, and uh, well, they certainly enjoyed it. And it was the Jamaicans who continued to threaten. Dixon again finding a way in behind, this time only finding the side netting. And at the close, perhaps one of the best chances of the match fell to Devontae Campbell. But the goalkeeper, Christopher Bigot, well, he was a big man in goal. One goal good enough for the Reggae boys as they win this fixture by one goal to nil. All right, we're a numbers team and we look at the numbers. And Jamaica overturning the first half advantage in terms of shots. They lead in the shots category. Shots on target, well, that went to them as well. Well, very physical game, 19 fouls in total, 11 going to the Reggae boys. And the saves for Trinidad and Tobago, making the majority of saves. 1-0, though, to Jamaica, and that was enough for them to hold the advantage. Brent Sancho is standing by with Coach Angus Eve. Coach, uh, yes, results-wise disappointing, but uh, your assessment of the 90 minutes plus? I wasn't disappointed at all, actually. We had a lot of players out there who played at this level for the very, very first time. And I thought that they acquitted themselves very well. And we were in the game for the most part. And uh, we gave away a sloppy goal, and uh, that's, that's the difference in the game. Well, you have been uh, echoing sentiments for quite a long time about these sorts of games for uh, our local players. What do you hope to achieve this weekend with the two friendlies uh, that has been Well, uh, to give people exposure, I realize we made minimum amount of changes because we wanted to expose the guys as much as possible. Young Burns and these guys would have never played at this level before. So this is a good exercise for them to understand the pace of the game going forward and then to give the guys who are more established a run out in going into the um, playoff tournament. Well, not uh, necessarily moving away from the, the team aspect of the game. Rondell Gibson, his performance today, your thoughts? Yeah, um, he was good on the ball. When he came on, we started to believe a little bit more. Um, he, he is not afraid to get on the ball. That's the type of players that we are looking for, um, to be that brave and, and show themselves. And I think he, was, he definitely changed the game when he came on. Well, Coach, uh, all the best in the next fixture on Sunday. And, of course, uh, with that all-important game against Canada. Thanks, bro. Thanks, Angus. I've now... Uh, join uh, coach uh, I know uh, coach Gordon you, results in these sorts of situations not really matter you had a record 13 debutants here today this afternoon one Sean in particular in young uh, Dixon of course a young man from Clarendon College your assessment and his performance first um first of all you know um games like this are always tough in against Trinidad you know our friendly neighbors but <laughs> football wise you know we're gonna we're gonna battle on the pitch um, I think it was a good game um both teams, I think, needed the same objective, you know, expose these boys as much as possible. And I think we got that. As you look forward to the second fixture on Sunday, 
Uh, what do you hope to get out of the, this weekend? I'm just like, keep exposing the guys. Um, when you see a person like Kaim on his debut score goal, that's, that's amazing. That's, that's the th type of things you want. Um, the transition from schoolboy football into international football, and I think he acquitted himself well. 13 changes. Um, young Jaden in the goal also, 17 years old. So it was very good for us. And we talk about uh, and drilling down into the game itself. Uh, really came to life in the second half. What was said at halftime? Um, it's just to tell the guys to, to, to stay on the front foot. Um, I think the latter part of the first half, we kind of back off a bit and gave Trinidad some space to play. Um, it's not our style, so we wanted to be on the front foot. We um, made some adjustments, made some changes, and, and it worked for us. Thank you very much, Coach, and all the best on Sunday. And, of course, uh, all the best on an all-important uh, CONCACAF tie yeah, man, against uh, USA. Thank you, sir. Well, what a matchup. 1-0, the final score, Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago, both coaches speaking to the benefits of the exposure that the young players got. I mean, what, what does this mean for 